Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to start second part of introduction to power electronics. As we all know that power electronics is a study of switches. Here in this lecture we will study the basic functioning of impotent power electronic switches. Many questions have been asked in previous years from this lecture. In my upcoming videos I will cover diode and thyristor in detail because in most of power electronic applications only these devices are used. I will cover the remaining power electronic devices at the end of this lecture series because they are very theoretical and you, you may lose interest if I cover them at the start. I will first tell you some important definitions associated with these power electronic devices. So let's start the video. So first is unidirectional switch. A unidirectional switch allows the flow of current in one direction only. Thyristor and diode are unidirectional devices because they allow current to flow in one direction only that is from anode to cathode. Second is bidirectional switches. These switches allow the flow of current in both directions. Example is triac. Third is uncontrolled switches. In these switches we cannot control the on and off state. Example is diode. A diode is made turn on or turn off by applying polarity of external voltage. Fourth point is semi-controlled switches. These switches can be controlled in one state only either in on state or in off state. Example of this is silicon control rectifier. SCR can be controlled in on state only. If we have to turn on a SCR then we can do this by applying a positive pulse at its gate terminal. But if we have to make it turn off then we have to make some external arrangement like using commutation circuit. That's why it is semi control switch. Next is fully control switch. It can be controlled in both on and off state. Example is triac, GTO, BJT and MOSFET. Next is unipolar switches. It blocks one polarity of voltage. Example is diode. Diode blocks reverse voltage and it allows the forward voltage. That's why it is a unipolar switch. Next is bipolar switch. It blocks both polarity of voltage. Example SCR silicon control rectifier. It blocks forward voltage in forward blocking mode and it blocks reverse voltage in reverse blocking mode. So it blocks both the polarities of voltage. That's why it is a bipolar switch. Now we will see how to draw the safe operating area of a device. For this we must know whether the device is unidirectional or bidirectional. If it is unidirectional then what is the direction of current it allows. Similarly we must know that whether the device is unipolar or bipolar. If it is unipolar then what is the polarity it blocks. Let's take an example. Suppose a device allows positive direction of, of current only. Then we put a cross mark on positive current axis. If the device is bipolar then we put cross marks on both the positive and negative axis because it blocks the both polarity of voltage. At last join all these three points we will get the safe operating area. So 
this rectangle is my safe operating area. Now let's start with diode. Diode is a unidirectional device as it allows the current to flow in positive directions only and that positive direction is from anode to cathode. It is an uncontrolled switch because on and on states of this diode cannot be controlled. They are controlled by the external polarity. It is unipolar as it blocks the reverse voltage only. So, to get the safe operating area, we put a cross mark on positive current axis and a cross mark on negative voltage axis. And joining these two crosses, we will get the safe operating area of diode. Now next is silicon control rectifier. It is a unidirectional as it allows the current to flow from anode to cathode or we can say that it allows the positive directions of current only. It is a semi-control switch because only on state can be controlled. It is bipolar because it blocks the forward voltage in forward blocking mode and reverse voltage in reverse blocking mode. So this will be my safe operating area. Next is gate turn on thyristor. It is also unidirectional and bipolar. Only difference between SCR and GTO is SCR is semi controlled and GTO is fully a controlled. So the safe operating area of GTO will be same as that of SCR. Next one is triac. Triac is equivalent to two SCRs connected in anti-parallel. It is bidirectional, bipolar and fully controlled. That's why its safe operating area lies in all four quadrants. This concept has been asked in ES2014 and ES2000. So this is the safe operating area of triac that lies in all four quadrants. Next is transistor. All these devices like BJT, FET and IGBT are members of transistor family. They are unidirectional, unipolar and fully controlled. They allow the current in forward direction only and they block the forward voltage. So this is safe operating area. This concept has been asked in ES2012. Next is MOSFET or IGBT with body diode. It is a bidirectional device. Why it is bidirectional? Due to body diode connected parallel to this device. Due to this body diode it also conducts in reverse direction. This is unipolar and blocks forward voltage only. Also this act as fully controlled switch. And this will be my safe operating area. This concept has been asked in gate 2003. Using all this we can plot this safe operating area. Now we will take some important points. BJT, MOSFET and IGBT all belong to thyristor family. Triac is the three terminal bidirectional switch. It is equivalent to two SCRs connected in anti-parallel. Devices in decreasing order of speed of operation are given here. Here MOSFET is the fastest device. After this, there is IGBT, after that BJT and SCR is slowest of among these all. Next is, pulse transformer is used in switches in which gate is used to trigger. Example are SCR, TRIAC and GTO. 
Now this is a question which device cannot be turned on or off by gate signal. Here answer is UJT because SCR, TRIAC and GTO all have gate terminals. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Jai Shri Ram. If you got the knowledge and concepts from this video, then please like the video and subscribe the channel. You can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box. Also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.